We begin with continuing coverage on a story we first brought you yesterday about a UT Tyler employee who was placed on leave after an article and video was posted online by a nonpartisan government watchdog group in DC whose main goal is to hold quote bad policymakers accountable. Now, according to their article, the UT Tyler employee claimed the university still runs a DEI office despite the new Texas law. Today, KETK's Annabelle Tuggle spoke to the president of Accuracy in Media to learn more about their investigation. You can still do it. You just have to be creative. This video was just recently posted by Accuracy in Media after President Adam Gillette says investigators have been looking into how Texas universities are dealing with DEI bans since last year. We immediately decided to investigate to see if these administrators thought that they were above the law. And I guess not surprisingly, they do. These diversity, equity, and inclusion departments were dismantled by Governor Greg Abbott and a bill signed into law in 2023. But Gillette says his team discovered many Texas universities secretly kept these departments anyway. The majority of administrators we spoke with at other universities like UT Tyler were clearly proud of how they were circumventing the law and ignoring the rule of law in the state of Texas. So loopholes in this new law, okay. The video posted on their website shows who they identify as the director of student belonging, Tarika Payne, telling an undercover investigator with a hidden camera that the university has had to change the name of its DEI department three times. I reached out to UT Tyler in an effort to hear their side of the story, and they sent me a statement saying they are investigating a video that included comments from a UT Tyler employee. The university fully follows all state and federal laws, regardless of what was portrayed in the video. Also telling me they launched an immediate investigation into this employee. For Gillette, he says he wants to see action taken not only by the university, but by the state government. I want to know what the attorney general, what the legislature is going to do about this. I want to know if these laws are going to have any teeth or if they just pass these laws to placate their base. I think pretty soon we're going to find out which it is. Saying if anyone is going to break the law, it shouldn't be government employees paid by tax dollars. Annabelle Tuggle, KETK News. We confirmed through the UT Tyler website that Payne is still employed by the university and listed as the director of student belonging. For more information about this story, head over to our website, KETK.com.